who are serious when it comes to locomotives. Steam engines. Fire. Water. Shaking earth. Darkened skies. What is it about steam that brings on such wistful longings in so many people? Of all our industrial inventions that have been pushed into oblivion by technology and politics, steam power always generates the most nostalgia. Remember the 20th Century Limited, the California Zephyr, Union Station, Grand Trunk, Night Coach, Fast Mail, all gone now. Well, almost all gone. A few times each year, the Union Pacific Railroad fires up engine number 3985. She is the last of her kind, the largest steam locomotive still operating on the North American continent. Old 3985 can generate 5,000 horsepower. Fully loaded with coal and water, she weighs just over 1 million pounds. On the day we visited 3985's home yard in Cheyenne, we were particularly lucky. Her sister, number 8444, was also steamed up, just back from a run to Omaha. Seeing one fired up was a novelty. Seeing two was a slide into a time warp. These old engines are a classic design. They're the last relics left over from the heyday of steam. Getting the chance to watch one of them operate is a rare treat. But if you think these trains are unusual, you should see the collection of railroad bus that turn out to watch them operate. I'm a rail fan. I love steam engines, especially big ones. One of the world's great railroad buffs, Ernest Malcolm Frimbo, said, most people think railroad buffs are nuts. Then he added, but I don't know why. If we rode around in Buicks all weekend, no one would say a word. This particular weekend, 432 avid rail fans had gathered from all over the world to do more than just ride around. They'd come to watch and listen and photograph and record old 3985. 3985 would be making plenty of noise on this day. She was hauling a special excursion train up Sherman Hill in southern Wyoming, the highest point on the Union Pacific Line. During the round trip, she would stop, let photographers and recordists off, back down out of sight, and then come roaring by. Make sure you get the engine and the tender, OK? okay. Now, you do a good job. You got a good picture before. Now, you going to do it again? OK. <laughs> It's called a photo run. They made nine such pass-bys. It was barely enough for the fans. It's just something like baseball fever. You just catch it and you can't let go of it. Every trip 3985 takes will be excessively documented by steam fans. For instance, this run produced hours of home movies and sound recordings and some 6,000 still pictures, all for the memories. I recall before I went to the convents when I was uh, growing up on a farm in Kansas, you could hear the train, uh, the car wheels rumbling on the track and the whistle blowing because the crossing was just a little ways down. And I used to think, oh, I wonder who's on that train. I wonder where they're going. I wish I could go along with them, too. Our best memory of steam comes from the day before the excursion. Railroad managers decided to run both steam giants, 3985 and 8444, side by side. It was a rare sight, even in the heyday of steam. And this may have been the last time it will ever be seen.
today, Boyd Matson, NBC News, Cheyenne, Wyoming.